Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Kovac here, and for this one, I'm just be doing five wins or busts with some more of my fun teams. I'm gonna make the most of the critter event before it unfortunately leaves us tomorrow. <sighs> Sad times, but it will be back around towards the beginning of April. So what I know. And uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it then. Okay. So he's got a left shark, two aquatics, Anubisac idol. Definitely the idol gonna give me my most trouble. But got two aquatics, so hopefully he starts out for one of them, because my blue flitter is just gonna absolutely tear them apart. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Look at all these up arrows. Oh goodness me! Cannot get any better than this. I mean, unless I get asleep right here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, buddy. Do you think that's going to outspeed my SS breed? Maxing out at 500 speed? Oh, man. Alright, well, let's just go for an Alpha Strike. Definitely want to preserve my flyer here. So, my best bet is to go for Kovac since I uh, take less damage from him. And have the best success of actually taking down the idol. Ooh, nice. He doesn't have sandstorm. Let's hope he doesn't have demolish. Okay, good. I was kind of fearing that he did. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. I'm just going to spam him. Poison Fang because pheromones. is just going to do less damage to these guys back here because they're aquatic types. So it's best for me to just keep spamming that good old poison thing. Hopefully not... Ugh. I was gonna say hopefully not get stunned, but a crit will do me in as well. Alright. Detective Ray. Go for a jab. Oh, he swapped. Okay. I'm okay with that, buddy. I'm gonna go for my emulation now. What you gonna do, Inky? Ooh, I was kind of fearing his blinding poison, but I'd much rather would like bubble because I'm just gonna tear that thing apart. Okie dokie, flame jet, ba boom. All right, uh, should I swap? Nah, I'll just stay in and keep using jabs. We do have even speed, so hopefully I can go first here. Nice. Good job, Detective Ray. Detective Ray is just really solid tech. I really like using him. Pretty great. Just gonna keep up the old jabs. Oh! Rain dance, you say? Oh, nice. He did not get a crit. Uh, yeah, let's go for the flame jet, guarantee that kill. And now that idol does not have Dazzling Dance. And you took off. Yeah, I was going to win that no matter what. <clears throat> My flyer was just going to face world at um, Noob Sap Idol. Or any of his aquatics that were still alive. So, let's move on to this team J Children of Janny. Speaking of which, uh, a good friend of mine named Gats, he um, he went out and actually got this pet for me, which was freaking awesome. I was like, "Hey, uh, you got any polished pet charms just lying around?" He was like, "Hold on, man, I I'll hook you up." And he sure did. He went out, got that achievement for a uh, child of Janie, and he he hooked me up right. He got me uh, this wonderful pet. I really wanted to get my hands on it, and uh. Yeah, that's really awesome of him. So thank you, buddy, if you're watching this. His uh, YouTube channel is called Method Gats. I will leave a link to it in the description. But uh, yeah, that was really, really awesome of him. Pretty interesting pet, I'd have to say. It's got a bleed. Mangle, which will pair quite well with these sharp teeth, considering it lasts for 10 turns. And I just prefer bite. Speaking of... uh. <coughs> pets given to me 
Ari uh, got me two pets, which was awesome. He got me the blue flitter, and what was that other pet? It was the great wing macaw. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get you these pets, yo. And I was like, thank you, bu uh, brother. I was trying to say bud. But, um, yeah, huge shout outs to them. If you haven't already checked out Ari's channel, he is a pet battle YouTuber. I will leave a link to him in the description once more. But, yeah, two really good friends of mine. I uh, greatly appreciate them going out of their way to uh, get me these wonderful pets. And I figured I'd play around with them. And uh, it's a triple moth team. Okie dokie. Well, I do have loads of beast damage, which sucks against these moths. Uh, let's just start out with the Fiendish Imp then. Go straight for Immolation. Really going to depend on how many sleeps he gets. Let's see how fast is the 289. So maybe I'll just stick in with a couple of burns. As soon as I get this moth below its racial, I'll be able to go first and other gate it out. So I am taking a crap ton of damage. Go for another gate. Alrighty. Now. Immolation also does pair quite well with Mangle, I have to say. So let's go for that Mangle A Savage. I'd love to get that up as soon as possible. Nice, he did not get a sleep. Try and get huge sharp teeth up. Uh, not teeth. <laughs> teeth. Try and get it on him. Hopefully I don't die right here. Uh, and yeah, I'll die. No! No! Okay, well, let's just go into the infested bear cub now. For a disease bite. Ooh, that hit pretty hard. I'm pretty sure with the whole beast ratio with Child of Janny, it uh, it does increase the stacks for Mangle. Not 100% sure on it, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Alright, so. <clears throat> one moth down, one moth that's basically dead. And he totally brought it in. Dang it. I was kind of hoping he was going to save it. Ooh, I don't think I can kill this moth. Oh, and it's a power power. I think it's the only power power moth, actually. The yellow moth. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to beat this guy. Unfortunately. Oh, man. I don't even think a crit will save me here with Nether Gate. Nope. Oh well. Triple Moth Team. I haven't gone against that in a while. I know Hiru loves to abuse and use a uh, Moth Dust, but um. <laughs> uh. That's pretty rare occurrence for me to see that kind of team. Uh, I think I'll play with this team again. Huh. Hopefully I don't get that guy again. Okay, cool. Still has triple flyers, though. Two of them having very low health. Power, power, bat. Oh, I didn't know there was a power, power, bat. That's cool. Golden Dawn Feather, okay. 
Okie dokie, well in any case that you decide to throw up sunlight that will just benefit me that much more. I'm just gonna go ahead and swap you out. Cause you were doing quite a bit of damage to me, Fran. So yeah. Go into Child of Janie. Throw up a mangle and then huge sharp teeth. Boy, if you land that nocturnal strike. I'm gonna be one sad camper. Bad <sighs> time it will be for me. Oh no, he's got reckless strike. Okay. I am faster. So I'll just go for a bite. No, it wasn't enough to kill him. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let's go for infested bear cub. Just spam the hell out of disease bites. Ooh, that was a nice crit. Uh, one more disease bite should get it done. Indeed it did. Now all he's got is the Petrodax action, which has crap for health, <laughs> but hits quite hard though, so it is not to be underestimated. It's first attack though, um, uh, not very good. <laughs> If I'm being completely honest. Alright, just keep on the offense. And Nether Gate will take him out once I bring in my fiendish imp. <laughs> Alright, GG. Who knows, it may have been that same guy with the moss, because like, he, he did have triple flyers. Maybe he's just trying to get his uh, little flying crawler's achievement. Um, okay, so where is that other team that I wanted to play with? It has Zomstruck in it. There it is. So yeah, all undeads and undead AoE, because all of them have AoE. And I named my Zomstruck after Ari because I'm pretty sure he really likes Zomstruck. I know that he likes uh, pets with Cartonado, so uh, that's good. And this is this guy again, which Fragment of Anger is absolutely going to tear your team apart, friend. Sorry, it is just, that's just how it's going to go. Plus I have three undeads, so um... Yeah, this isn't going to go very good for you, buddy. Not at all. Literally just going to stay on Fragment of Anger until he kicks the bucket. <laughs> that crit just rubs salt in the wound. Like you would not even know. That's just going to increase the damage you take, pal. I'm going to go ahead and go for Soul Rush because, um... The Petrodax Hatchling has left off anyway. And yeah, he ran away. There's no way he's going to win that. Oh, man. Alright. Alright, I wanted to play with this team as well. Kind of like that one team that had the blue flitter, except put in a great wing macaw. Because uh, Flock can pair very well with Detect Ray's Immolation while he's in that back row, as well as Kovac. If, like, maybe Great Wing is about to die, I get off a of Flock just before he dies, and he'll pair well with Poison Fang and uh, Black Claw, or even Pheromones if they decide to swap out. 
because uh, Great Wing Macaw is pretty fast. <clears throat> pretty fast bird under its uh, racial. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a pretty strong team. Look at you, buddy. Busting out the big boys. Well, Detective Ray is actually faster than his Blaze now. So, in case he tries to swap me out first, I'm just going to throw up an elation. Oh wait, he went straight in the puppy for the flame. Okay, that's fine. At least I don't have to deal with traps. I'm going to go into Kovac now, throw down pheromones. Since he's on the ground anyway, so. He could very likely still have that swap out though. Nope. That works for me too. Get up a black claw. And let's see. I think I actually want to switch out into Great Wing Macaw. And uh, Quills, my friend, is just going to tear you apart. Although, I think Flock might kill him as well. Yeah, let's go for Flock. Yep. Alright, now I got Flock for whoever he decides to bring in. Freaking idle, though. That sucks. Uh, sandstorm. Chain in the rear. <laughs> this is not going to take any damage from this. Alright, let's go for a quills. Do some decent damage with that shatter defense. Uh, I guess I could go for Tranquility, because I'm pretty sure it's just going to kill me here anyway. And I'll have that for my, uh, my other pets. Alright, Poison Fang, Black Claw, the old usual. If I have Detective Ray against the dragon towards the end, that dragon is going to get torn apart. Alrighty, uh, is it worth going for flame jets? I mean, if I can get the dot off, it's definitely worth. Let's go for it. Nope, no dot, okay. Alright, well, let's go for jab then, because uh, this is definitely a match if I want. Oh no, he swapped out. Alright. Go back in the Kovac then. He does weak damage to me anyway. So I should be able to get a black claw up right here. I mean, of course if I miss a 90%, uh, never mind. With that, uh, with that bullshit right there. Yeah, that's basically secured my loss. Unless if uh, you miss a whole bunch. But I don't see that happening. Yeah, of course, he, uh, he got a crit. Oh. <sighs> you bastard. Running that team. I had a pretty good chance of actually beating that team. Had he just stick on that stupid idol instead of switching into dragon. But you know, what can you do? Scum will be scum. Uh, I actually kind of want to play this team again. Pretty fun. As long as I don't go against people like that. And I should be good to go. Man, I have really enjoyed this critter event. 
for this week. Sad that it won't be back until beginning of April. Surprised that I didn't see Squirt inside of the garrison at all this week, otherwise I probably would have made a guide on it. But uh, triple mechanical team, well this is going to go very well for Detective Ray. Not so much for my poor Kovac though. So, let's just go for Immolation. That's just going to benefit me that much more. Let's just call Lightning Buddy and I'll go for a Flame Jet and switch out. Uh, I've actually gone against this player quite a bit, so I'm quite confident, confident that I know what he has. Oh, I'm glad I swapped out. I am really glad I swapped out. But while he's freaking immobilized, basically, I'll go ahead and set up my heal. And go for a flock. Oh no, it didn't activate his thingy. I mean, he's definitely gonna uh, die right here, so that's all good. I got my um, racial back, so I am currently faster than that Cogblade Raptor. And he ran away. Yeah, I mean, I was going to win that, but uh, my Great Wing Macaw was about half health, and Detective Ray took quite a bit of beating. Kovac would have just got completely demolished at any point that I decide to bring him in. So, for hopefully the final battle, let's just go ahead and play with stoned armadillos using the stone armadillo. A pet that you don't see very often. But I know that uh, Disco Doggy likes this pet. I figured I'd give it a try. Ooh, all undead. Well, say I've got a pretty good matchup with all this critter damage as well as a one shot. The only pet I can't one shot, I think, is actually his little KT, unless if it crits. So I'm gonna start out with my core fire imp and get up immolation. Ooh, that hurt. Why'd you have to hurt like that, buddy? And I'm already faster than all these pets except the fungal abomination. So, let's go for one power ball. Now let's spam Thrash. Try to get his racial activated as soon as possible. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, that is hurting. That hurts. Alright. On his racial, unfortunately, he's probably going to put back up darkness, which sucks. But, what can you do? I'm going to go ahead and throw up shell shield. Yeah, of course you threw up darkness. It's giving me that extra chance to miss. <laughs> oh, I hate that stupid ass 10% reduction. Oh, goodness me. Alright, well, I have a pretty good matchup, especially since, um, got Dot, so Shell Shield will definitely help me out. Let's go for another Thrash. Alright, let's bring in the Iron Starlet and go for a wind up. And use some power balls. And of course, it missed. Oh man. Gotta love darkness. Uh, 
Alright, perfect. I can finish off this pet. I mean, you go for that heal, buddy, but uh, you're a goner now. So, boom boom. Done, seed, eh? Well, pretty sure the battle might be over before that really gets a chance to do anything. Yep, let's go for a wind up, and this should be GG. And the indeed it is. Alright, I literally just have to survive for one turn, so I'm just gonna go for my cauterize. Oh wait, no, I lived. Never mind. I don't have to risk a potential crit doing me in. Oh, beans. Alrighty, well, that was fun. So yeah, that all that about wraps it up. Once again, thank you, Gats and uh, Ari, so much for those pets. I greatly appreciate it. I'll leave a link to both of their channels if you haven't already. Please check them out. Show them some love. But um, that'll wrap it up for this one. Really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.